Growing up in the UK, I knew very little about China. Sure, I knew it was a large country with lots of people and a long history, but only after living here for five years am I starting to understand just how big and beautiful China really is. I think that one province that encapsulates both the beauty and history of China lies on the East Coast, and I'm going to spend a few days traveling around to understand what makes this province so special. And I have arrived in Zhejiang. What fantastic weather, and look at this view. Mountains, a little town, and tea fields. Absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, beautiful place. I need to go and check into my hotel, so uh, I'm gonna get in my car and drive there. Let's go. Just arrived in this village. The houses here are made from like the old bricks. And if we look over this way, it's just tea fields as far as you can see. I checked into my room and headed to the neighboring village, even further up the mountain. This is Songzhuan Tun, and it has a history of over 520 years. It's so original, it's ridiculous. Just everywhere you look, it feels like a step back in time. Geographic China described this place as the last Jiangnan secret village. But there are actually over 200 families that still live here. They actually have an original bridge here. It looks so old and it's so thin, but it's been standing tough for, what, 500 years, so I trust it. This is incredible. Not only does it feel like you're walking through history, it feels like you're in a painting. The colors, the orange of the houses, the green of the bamboo trees, and the blue of the sky. It's just incredible. What a feast for the eyes. Actually, down below the bridge, there's a couple of aunties pulling some bamboo down the river. Huge piece of bamboo. So uh, maybe I'll ask them if I can help them. They look tired, I'm sure. Hi, what about you? Oh, good. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Oh my, this is so heavy and difficult. It's so long. Oh, they are so heavy and very long. Difficult to take through this little tight village. Let's keep looking around the village, and I need to have a bit of a relax. Beside the bridge, another auntie was selling peaches. And she invited me into her house for some cold tea. Okay. Just the most original Chinese village I've ever been to. An absolute gem. Secret hidden village. I love it. Good morning. It is 5 a.m. and we've just arrived at a very local village here in the middle of the valley. The sun has not yet came up, it's just coming up right now. Whoa, how new are! So cool, me huh? What's the English word? English word. Yeah. I can help you. Can you help me? 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 Can you
chào nhé. Hey. Sư sư, ní ăn chữ cái nhiều câu gì mà? Cang đi đấy, chả đào cũng dùng. Oh. Phải. Cái chân này là tôi chả đào. Oh. Nên phải nhảy nhiều cái. As my journey continued through Zhejiang, I find that each place was full of both beauty and culture. I learned about the tradition and history of book collecting in Ningbo. The serenity and tradition was clear to see in Wujin. There were rolling hills and total tranquility in Morganshan, sandy beaches and jagged cliffs in Dongtou, and the peaceful and relaxing yet high-tech and modern Hangzhou. My very last stop on my trip was an ancient painting village. No better place than to try painting myself. As I sat in front of my canvas, I thought of all the beauty I had seen across the whole province. In Zhejiang, not only does it feel like you're looking at a painting, it feels like you've stepped into a painting. What an amazing place. I just can't wait to return to Zhejiang again soon. <laughs>